Okay, hello guys. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a multi-floor elevator. Finally, he did this fucking tutorial. So yeah, um, I had problems making this. Why? Well, because uh, I didn't know how to do it. Well, I thought I knew how to do it, but it didn't work. So this guy named Uber Kirsche find his own way to do it, and he uses funk underscore door. And with this solution, you can make how many floors you want, and still have the elevator to work really nice. So yeah. Uh, first, I mean my elevator. It's not that. F yeah, it's 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 an elevator. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make the elevator. Select every part of it by holding down control and click on every part. You can of course move the camera, then holding control again. But yeah, so I'm just gonna select my elevator, press control and T together, make it funk underscore door. You gotta name it. So I'm gonna name it to box. On flags, remove touch opens, press apply. Uh, that's all for the now. And now I can't move my finger, but we don't, doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna search for invis texture. Okay, so I'm gonna make. Uh, it doesn't matter really where you make the invisible button, f uh, not button door. This is the thing that will move the elevator, but you're gonna make it so people can walk through it, so it doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, I put it on the floor where the elevator stands on, so it's easier to make the rest work. Uh, control and T together, make it funk underscore door, name it, so I'm gonna name it, you gotta name it, so I'm gonna name it door one, flags. Possible so people can walk through it. Remove touch opens and take NPCs can't. Press apply. Class info. Uh, you're gonna take delay before reset to minus one. The lip we will decide now by just looking how far this thing will go. Uh, it's stands 128. I think that's the thing we will put in. Uh, I'm not so quite sure about that. I have problems making it move the right length, but yeah, you will fix that on yours. Now I can choose to either put in 128 or minus 128. I'm gonna put in minus 128, and if you put in minus 128, you need this move direction to go up. If you put in 128, you make it go down. So yeah, I'm gonna make this first one go up. And now I'm gonna copy this button by holding down shift and drag it make it exactly above and rename this one it will have the same settings so I'm gonna change the lip to 128 so yeah, yeah I, this is just to show you guys that both of these things work and move direction to down I also gonna take the name to door 2 press apply uh, now when we have all the things we need to make a free floor elevator. If you have like a four floor elevator, you add a new door called door three. And I'm gonna show you what to do with it. Uh, parent the the elevator will be parent to door one. Door one will be parent to door two. And if you will make a four uh, floor, door two will be parent to door three. Okay. And now when we made our floors, um, I'm gonna make buttons. So we're just gonna search for a nice texture. And that's a nice button texture. I'm gonna make a fast button here. Oops. There we go, a nice button. Uh, select it, press Ctrl T, make it to funk underscore button press apply make it parent to box you gotta n it's good if you name it so I'm gonna name it to button le uh, flags don't move and use activates press apply now we're gonna copy this button two times we have three buttons one for each floor of the elevator uh, to see the difference on them, I'm gonna make them like this. Now what the hell? There we go. So f 
This is first floor, second floor, third floor. Really easy to understand. Um, now we're gonna make some outputs. On the first uh, floor one, the, uh, button number one, we want the elevator to go to the bottom. So we're gonna pr take on pressed door one, close, add, on pressed door two close press apply now we're gonna take the second button and uh, now we want it to go to the second floor so we're gonna take add on pressed door one now we can choose to have door one on close or door one on open I'm gonna have door one on close and on pressed door two and if you have a door one on open you will have door two to close and reverse so I'm gonna, now we're gonna have door two to open so we have one of each Um, for the third floor, we're gonna have add, on pressed, door one to open, apply, add, on pressed, door two to open. If you would have a third floor, you would make the two of these doors to open and one to close. Um, same thing here, you would make one open, the rest close, here everyone close, so yeah, it's, you count how many that will open, ah, anyway, it doesn't, ah, you, you understand, I hope, so, yeah, also, one thing, I don't want, like, one guy to press the first floor and one guy to press the third floor, so it goes, like, yeah, it spammed, it will lag everything. So I'm gonna take add on pressed button LE. That's why I named every button to the same name. Every button has the same button LE. So I'm gonna have lock and now you can only press it once and then I every button will be locked so you can't press it one more time. So I'm gonna unlock it but I can't have it unlocked immediately so I need to have a delay of it. So I'm gonna have like 4.5 seconds. That depends on how many floor you have and how many the distance the elevator has to move. If you got many floors, I uh, yeah put in a little delay thing. Also, if you want to change the speed of the elevator, you take in the button and change speed here. You change the speed on both. So yeah. Um, now we will gonna test this. No wait, we only did this to one button. So you select. Uh, holding control, select both of these, lock and unlock, go down here, press copy, take up button number two, go down here, press paste, you see they got paste in, take up button number three, outputs, paste in, press apply. This will now work in game, so we're gonna test it. Okay, so here we are, and uh, as you can see, this little door here, I can't walk on it. Uh, it's so it's not in the way. I press a button, go up. That's the third button. This is the first button and the second button. And yeah, it's there is a lock on, so I can't press it 24/7. Need to wait some time. As you can see, I failed with the distance, but yeah, you're gonna fix that yourself. It's your elevator, not mine. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope it helped. And in the description, I will like tell you how this really works with the doors and if you haven't got it so yeah thank you for watching this story and see ya